What's going on, Lawn Care Nation? Richie Plumes with Plumes Lawn and Landscape. So, we're at one of our commercial properties today, and I want to show you something um, that you know a lot of people talk about this time of year, and, that, and you know that's crepe murder. You know, and I'm going to show you what the tree looks like when you actually murder out a crepe murder. I guess you would say uh, it. Uh, it does not look good. It looks nasty, and what the tree looks like once it loses its leaves you can kind of uh, see the uh, bad spots in it so what we're doing here today is we're trying to trim them up to get them to start growing branches again instead of where people come through with a chainsaw and they hack them off so as you can see here they basically come in here and they cut the tree as this main limb comes up they cut it off right here with a chainsaw and just cut these limbs off with one hack and it just looks disgusting as you can see here this limb right on this portion of it here is it's, it's dead i mean it's it's getting a you know just nasty dead spot in it and so you get these big chunks like this that have nothing growing off of it and so what you get is suckers growing around the 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 trunk of the tree you get these little suckers that, that pop out and so what we do to try to get this tree to form back the way it's supposed to be is i just come in here and i'll start taking all these little small pieces out we'll cut all the small limbs and then we'll actually come up here a little ways and we'll cut off the main tree limbs along here and what that's going to do is when we cut that off as we cut it off right here next year it's going to wild you know you're going to put on two more limbs here and then and so on and so forth we go up each year cleaning the tree up and then we just and once it gets so tall all we've got to do then is come in clean out all the cross branches where they're where they're rubbing together um this tree was like i said has been poorly maintained for so long like you can see here these two branches right here cross which when it blows the wind blows you're going to get rubbing which can cause a uh, bad spot in the tree get a fungus actually end up killing it so uh that's why you don't uh murder out a crepe myrtle as you can see we've already done those six over there um, you can see where there's little smaller limbs are sticking up and uh, once I get done here I'll uh, show you what this looks like so I'll get some video of it and uh, let you guys see how we try to repair a tree that uh, has been improperly uh, cut back every year for probably <laughs> since it's been here <laughs> so anyway let's get some video of it I'll do some time lapse and we'll just go from there
all right so we got those cut and and what we done was i thinned out a lot of it now this is the way i have been taught to kind of repair these after so many years of, of doing it wrong and, and the idea is to never have to cut them other than thin them out so when you first plant this tree you should never have to to prune like this unless you've got it up against a house or a building or you know a power pole and, and in all honesty don't put them anywhere near a house if you like crepe myrtles don't put them next to your house don't put them next to a building it would save you a lot of trouble of having to hack these things like like most of these people do and and i'm not saying that they they know that they're doing wrong because this is the way they've seen it done for so long so they think that they're doing it properly when in all actuality they're just murdering out the tree um now like i said you can see that we we thinned it out you notice my cuts all of my cuts are angled and the reason for angling these cuts is so when it freezes and say we get a rain it's supposed to rain here tuesday wednesday thursday friday it's supposed to rain from tuesday through about april here over the next couple of weeks so or a couple of months so it just it just rain constantly here like that that's why i've got my big boots on it's just been so muddy and rainy but I cut on an angle like that because what ends up happening is when you get water and it gets on top, if you cut it flat, water's gonna get on top. What's gonna happen is that water is gonna freeze and it's gonna kill that limb. So what you wanna do is, you, or cause a fungus. So what you wanna do is you cut it at an angle, that way the water sheds off of what you've cut. And you keep it cut, the water will shed off of it, you won't have any problems. Like I said, these have been cut improperly for years. Do they look good now? no they don't <laughs> they're ugly now even after i cut them they're still ugly and they're going to be ugly for some time once you know we get the tree you know clean back up we're going to come in here we're going to cut all these little knuckles out like you get these little knuckles that we're you know i've got to go in here and i've got to cut this out clean this up so i've still got some cleanup to do on this tree uh it's it's not a fast process it, it takes some time and i think that's the reason why a lot of people actually cut them the way they do because they feel it's faster just to come right here and just saw it off just saw it off right there you got a little wire sticking up and and that's what they do um now a lot of people do it to keep the tree small like i said they have it up against the house or up against the building to try to keep the tree small they do that and it just looks terrible like i said if you're going to plant these don't plant them up against the house don't plant them up against anything you don't want them growing into they're a tree let them grow let them get big like they're supposed to and look good so but anyway guys i know it's not a long video but just want to show you guys you know we're 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 cleaning up these crepe myrtles we picked this property up uh, about september of last year so i told them i said uh your crepe myrtles have been pruned improperly for so many years they are going to be ugly when we cut them this year and the uh the property manager was even like yeah we know <laughs> it's just we know they're going to be ugly they're ugly every year because they just saw them off of the chainsaw so um i explained to them the you know crepe myrtles are not supposed to be cut like that anyway rambling time again i always ram do i ramble more than anybody you guys watch i'm sure i do i've got to i just kind of ramble on and on and on and, and can't stop so but uh make sure you like subscribe leave me a comment down below what you think about how i cut these would you go a different route would you do it a different way do you chainsaw them do you prune them like i do when when they're in this bad of shape i prefer to just go in and thin out that way it kind of it gives the tree a bonsai look over time to me when you just thin them out and kind of let it kind of twist i really like that and uh do you like multi-cane or, or single cane crepe myrtles people who do crepe myrtles will know what that is so anyway guys make sure you like subscribe we'll see you in the next video